Hi, I'm Bob German, a cloud advocate at Microsoft. I'm here to share tips and tricks about how applications that use the Microsoft Graph can streamline work for users. Think about all the apps you use today. There are probably a lot of them, right? Now imagine you could combine them, not just randomly, but in ways that support the work you have to get done. That's the idea for my demo today, and it's a pattern I've seen over and over again from our customers and partners. For example, consider the common occurrence of planning a customer visit. Where do you start? Well, probably by looking at your calendar. And then you might want to prepare by looking up the customer in your CRM system, perhaps look up recent transactions in case anything unusual has happened. And also there's contracts. Those might be in Microsoft 365 along with photos that have been taken in previous visits. And of course you're going to have to get there. So you'll need a map uh, or some kind of directions, maybe a weather forecast. So you know how to dress that day. And if you have any other questions, you're probably asking your teammates. Now that's a lot of app juggling, but the challenge is not so much that you're using a lot of different apps. It's that every app is organized differently. So it's up to the user to connect the dots, to browse and search in each app for the information that's relevant to, in this case, a customer visit. So if you visit customers maybe a few times a year, that's probably fine. But what if you're a field service technician, an insurance adjuster, or a visiting nurse, and you and your teammates are going to new customers every day? What if your company employs dozens or hundreds of these people? All that wasted time and overhead will absolutely add up. So now let me show you a possible solution. And remember, this is just a pattern that could be applied to many different situations. Here I am in Microsoft Teams and I'm running a custom application inside of Teams, which is a great place to put it because my users are already there. I'm logged in as Katie and Katie can see her colleagues and her calendar with only the customer visits showing. She can also browse to the other colleagues. Now, all this information, of course, is coming from the Microsoft Graph. If I open up one of the visits, you can see that I've brought in not only the transactions and the customer information, but also the documents and the photos for this customer, again from the Microsoft Graph, along with a map and a weather forecast using other cloud services. Now, imagine that Katie is going to look at her calendar and realize there's no way she's going to make that 2.30 appointment. There's just not enough time to get there after the 1.30. So she's going to ask her team for a little bit of help. Well, apps can send messages into Teams as well, again, using the Microsoft Graph. And so this message gets sent in along with a deep link back to the application. So there's the, uh, there's the message. Now suppose I'm running around somewhere and I'm on my phone and I go into Microsoft Teams and I see that message from Katie. If I click on it, it's going to bring me right into the app where I can see all that same contextual information without having to look it all up again. And hopefully I can help Katie out. I've seen this kind of pattern in many different industries. Maybe you're trying to monitor what's going on on the floor of a hospital or a manufacturing station. Or maybe it's about seeing all the aspects of a product or an investment portfolio. Of course, all these industries rely heavily on line of business apps, but they also use productivity and collaboration tools like Microsoft 365. Apps that bring the two together can streamline work significantly for their users. So let's take a look at how this works. The Microsoft Graph is just a REST API, meaning it's easy to call from any web browser or modern development environment. Here are the calls I used in the demo. To get my colleagues, I looked for my manager and then navigated to his or her direct reports. To read the calendar was a single call with a filter on date. To enumerate the files in the contracts library, well, I had to go get the library, so there was a couple of steps involved. I could cache that information if I wanted to, but then it's a fairly straightforward thing to get the files inside. And to send a message into a Teams channel was pretty simple too. Now, the Microsoft Graph is a secured API, and that's because Microsoft 365 users expect their data to be secured. So you'll need to obtain an access token in order to call these APIs. You can learn how to do all of this in single page apps 
in a new series of hands-on labs in our Microsoft Learn website. Here are the URLs. Please do check them out. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Microsoft 365 developer videos.